hi friends welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'll be showing you how i stacked and decorated this beautiful square wedding cake actually is my younger sister's wedding cake so sit back relax make sure you watch the video till the end and don't forget to subscribe to my channel <music> Now I've covered the cakes with fondant individually, I'm about to start decorating. But first of all, I'll have to stack those cakes. It's a three-tiered wedding cake. Now I'm marking where the middle tier will be sitting on. So the cake tier that is done, that's the biggest cake tier is the size starting square cake. Now I'm inserting my dowel rod. It will serve as um, a support system to carry all the tiers especially the middle tier which is the size 10 square cake here i inserted nine dowel rods Now I'm cutting this double rows to fit the height of the cake. At this stage, I'm applying little liquid glucose on top of the down cake tier. The reason why I'm doing this is the so that when I sit the middle cake tier on top of the down tier, it wouldn't shake. It will help make it sit firm. A lot of people use real icing, but in this case, I prefer using liquid glucose because it helps my cake to stick to the down tier properly without setting too hard and in this case if whenever i use glucose when i'm about to dismantle those cakes it's very easy for me to dismantle but if i use real icing it will be so difficult to pull out the tears so this is the reason why i always prefer liquid glucose at times especially when the cake is not going too far Now I'm trying to seal off all those spaces in between these two tiers with wet fondant. I used little white fondant. I had to make it wet, put it in water, then bring it out. Then now I'm trying to 
seal off by using this craft knife to put it and spread it out. Wow, all those open spaces have been closed. Now I also repeated the same process which I did earlier. Now I'm doing it for the last tier and the middle tier. So for the tiers that are not on the board, you can use your cardboard, that's the thick one, or you can use carton, cut it to um, the size of the cake then the carton will serve as a cake board so when you sit um, the tears on top of each other they will stay straight so actually I used a carton here I had to cut carton to fit the size of the cake and it serves as my cake board in this case so after cutting this carton you try and create a hole in the middle I guess you saw the hole and there was where the um, door rod entered in through so this is it I finished stacking my cakes I had to use skewer to also support it to make it stand firm so this is our stack cakes I'm about to start decorating right now so I'm trying to put a ribbon a golden ribbon at the base of the tears now I'm done with this process so I'm about to decorate it furthermore to my taste I'm trying to stick um, those strips to the body of this cake and I'm using royal icing so I've done this so I'll be doing this for all the tears till I'm done with this process I hope you like what I've done so far. So let me know how you feel in the comment section. Do you really love this cake decoration? So this is what we have here. This is a beautiful three-tiered square wedding cake. Please, if you know you've not subscribed to my channel, kindly do that right now. Subscribe to my channel.